All right, got things pretty well dialed in now. This is the new changing arm. I uh, still need to clean up the dimensions a little bit. It's a little long here, and it's a little long back here as well. Uh, it actually interferes with uh, with Y homing right now. So I've had to uh, compensate with that. I homed it before putting uh, before reattaching uh, the arm back to the machine. So that's something I'll take care of after this. But let's see. Uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, I'm running one of my older pen magazines. It doesn't have enough space to, uh, put the two in the corners here, but I do have addressing working on both rows now, which we'll see here in a minute. And, uh, once I get, uh, one of the larger, uh, magazines, a little more padding printed up, then, uh, we'll be able to see it running, uh, eight pens. But for now, we'll run it with six, and uh, yeah, you just want to see what it's doing. So yeah, I am pretty happy with how that's working. So next steps will be to uh, clean up that arm, fix it up, uh, get the larger magazine printed up and finished. And that'll take a little bit of reconfiguration. It should just be a single padding setting in the software. Uh, that's already set up pretty nicely to handle uh, different, uh, different offsets between the pens. And yeah, this should be pretty much good to go. And uh, from here, I'll need to start sorting out how to actually, you know, draw things more interesting than uh, these little squares here. All right, uh, I guess that'll do for now, and we will see you in the next one.